are going to look at the kidney. The kidney is covered by a capsule, this dark brown, around the entire kidney. All of the blood vessels, nerves, entering and exiting the kidney will come through the small arch here, the lesser curvature known as the renal hilum. We can see the renal artery, the renal vein, and the ureter, which would exit the kidney with urine. As we look into the kidney, we can see this thick outer wall, which is the cortex. The cortex houses all the nephrons. The middle of the kidney is known as the medulla. And in the medulla, we have many of these structures known as pyramids. Each pyramid flows down into a renal papilla and the renal papilla flows into the minor calyx. It's like a funnel system. The minor calyx is the small funnel, funneling into the major calyx, which is the bigger funnel. The major calyx will funnel into the renal pelvis, and then from there the urine goes from the renal pelvis down the ureter on the way to the bladder. Now in between each pyramid, we can see a little bit of the structure here known as a renal column separating all the pyramids. And we can see the arteries and veins that run through the renal columns, separating them out. And those are the structures of the kidney. Today we are going to focus in on a nephron in the kidney. Your kidney has over a million nephrons in each one. The nephron is going to be this structure up here that starts in the cortex. We start by having blood flow into a very small capillary bed known as the glomerulus, shown in red. The yellow around the glomerulus is the Bowman's capsule. That's the first part of the nephron. Together, the glomerulus and the Bowman's capsule makes a structure called the renal corpuscle. As the filtrate moves through the Bowman's capsule, it comes into a twisty section of nephron known as the proximal convoluted tubule. This is where the majority of the filtration is going to happen. After the proximal convoluted tubule, we come into the loop of the nephron, often called the loop of Henle. The loop of Henle has a descending section with permanent aquaporin channels to release water or filter water, and an ascending section with absolutely no aquaporin channels, but allows other solutes to leave at that point. After the loop of Henle, we come into another twisty section, which is called the distal convoluted tubule. It again filters out many of the substances that are in there, including your last chance to filter out calcium due to the parathyroid hormone. After the distal convoluted tubule, we come into the collecting duct or collecting tubule. Many nephrons attach to one collecting duct, which runs all the way down through the pyramid and into the minor calyx. We can still filter out water and sodium from the collecting duct due to aldosterone hormone and antidiuretic hormone, also known as vasopressin. And those are the structures of the microscopic nephron.